Peggy 12. I think the hardest part as an artist is just starting with a white piece of paper. Even for a professional, I think just that white piece of paper can stare back at you. And I think it's okay to be scared because it's a way to get yourself ready to start. One, two, three, dream. I love the games industry. I love it so much that I want to make it easy for other people to get into the games industry. And for me, that's what Dreams is all about. What Dreams offers is the ability for people who wouldn't necessarily have thought they could make games to actually give it a go. If you're just starting out in Dreams, probably the first thing you'd want to do is just go and play, get some inspiration, see what kinds of things other people are making. One of the biggest misconceptions about game development is that there's a set process. I used to think that at some point in my career I would figure out the right way to make a game. And the reality is, is that there just isn't one. We're all kind of trying to figure it out as we go. People think we're experts and that they can't do what we do. Anyone could do what we do. It's just about having the confidence to jump in and have a go. Starting something is always the hardest because there's always the fear of, well, what if it could be something better if I wait? Or maybe I'm not at the right skill level to do it right now. Don't wait. Start on the thing that excites you the most and get going with that. Don't get intimidated by how complicated or difficult you might think it is to make a game. Think about what goals you're trying to accomplish first. I think one of the biggest mistakes you can make as a creator is to create right away without really thinking about why you're doing it or what exactly it is that you're making. Let's just say we're working on a mission and this mission is gonna take place in an old mining town in Alaska. What do old mining towns look like? Is it scary? Is it action packed? What does it look like to be in Alaska? What is the feeling here? Is it drama and narrative? Does that give me ideas for how I should craft this level or this space? Uncovering what that is is the first step for me. Remember what your initial goals are and try your best to, to keep those in mind along the way and not, not veer too far away from them. But along the way, it's going to pull you in different directions and you're going to find things that work or don't work. If someone's just starting out and they've never done this before, keeping the idea simple is probably your best approach. Keeping things simple can be tricky because you want to explore a lot of different things, especially when you get excited and passionate about something. It's just a matter of breaking the ice. So break the ice and then take it on in small increments. And I think that those small increments become larger and larger before you know it, you have a project. Anybody can come up with a unique idea, anybody. It doesn't take any sort of special skill to have a good idea. I usually tell people, just start with writing things down that inspire you. I want the beginning and the end of what my story is going to be and the details that fill out in between. And once I have that outline, I just start writing. And then from there, you can start with just small sketches. And if you're not an artist, you can even start with just using photography, collect different images and put them into a sketchbook. Creating that library of ideas is what's important to start off. If you're struggling to come up with anything at all, one of the things that can help get you going is to think about the games that, that you like. Start with something that you think you would like to play yourself, because you know how that feels, just to kind of get your feet wet. And then from there, you add a little bit more, add a little bit more. For writer's block, I tried two different approaches. My first approach is usually to just keep going anyway, even if you don't know what you're going to write, and it might surprise you. If that's not working, sometimes you just need to take a step back. It's not possible to be creative 100% of the time, and a good skill to develop is to know when to walk away. Take a break, take a breath, and then come at it again. Banging your head against your monitor, trying to figure out what idea to come up with, it's never gonna come. Try to find something you feel incredibly passionate about. Because I think the passion for a project will get you over the rough spots. Make sure that what you're working on is inspiring to you. It's the best way to keep motivated. 
find something that you really want to see the end result of. I'm a lead character concept artist at Naughty Dog. Art director for Pixel Opus. Senior animator at Santa Monica Studio. Principal environment artist at Ben Studio. Design director at Insomniac Games. Designer at Media Molecule. Environment team lead at Ben Studio. Creative director of Pixel Opus. Senior narrative designer at Ben Studio. Senior level designer at Santa Monica Studio. Art director at Insomniac Games. Creative director at Media Molecule. And I can't wait to see what you create in dreams. Station.